Oh, so I just did a live stream about this oil that I'm using at the moment. And then I thought, I'm going to make another one because I forgot to save it on my phone. So this is um, a video about ice blue from doTERRA. It is known as the soothing, um, soothing blend. And at the same time, I use it with the rub. Now, if you're watching this and you're in the United States or some other countries, it can also be called Deep Blue, but that's the name of the registered trademark of doTERRA. What I'm saying today is um, what I'm doing and experiencing, and I read from the Modern Essentials book and the emotional oils, okay? So I'm not a health professional. I'm just, this should be, we're trying to be entertaining sometimes, yeah. And it is winter here, so I was out earlier feeding the horses, and I'm kind of like still out a bit chilly. So I have the heater going, we'll heat up soon. What was happening, I have this really swollen, inflammated thing here, and it is a bugger. As you know, I got horse, you need to feed them, and you use it for all kinds of things, like lifting this up, you see, ah, painful, everything's painful. Have I been journaling too much? Um, I'm also crocheting at night when I watch videos because I get bored. When I don't, I, I can't just watch Netflix, I need to do something else, either write or draw or, or crochet. So I decided this time to just crochet a cover for my couch, so big enough, you know. A big project and just straight, not too much counting. So this became really painful and what I do is Oh, this should be diluted. This is not to eat. Um, the ice blue is a topical blend. I've just been putting it on like that. And then first I put on the oil and then I'm going to wait later on. I'll put on the, the thing over it. It's always good to layer, you see. Um, and I like the, that pain relief. I even like the smell. Reminds me of my hockey days. I was a bad hockey player, but we used to have that um, spray bottle that we used to do on our legs when it was cold. Like they said, it would, uh, we had to go in our little skirts on the field. And, you know, you didn't want our muscles being, um, it's a camphor, I think. So yeah, you see the aroma is minty, camphoraceous, and herbaceous. Did I say that right in English? I don't know. So this blend contains oils that are well known and are frequently studied for their abilities to soothe inflammation, alleviate pain, and reduce soreness. Um, there is wintergreen, camphor, peppermint, blue tansy, German chamomile, helichrysum, and osmanthus. Now I must say some of these parts of the blend I put um, in my skincare as well. Like I love the blue tansy and the helichrysum together with frankincense. It's how I um, make an oil for my face and for my body. It's an amazing thing. Um, so yeah, you can just as I use it topically, but you can dilute five drops in five milliliter fractionated coconut oil. Um, you know, you can make these small rollable bottles for it. Um, apply as a compress on the spine or reflex points on the feet. Um, it may result in contact sens sensitization. Um, Use with caution during pregnancy. Yeah, in general, as I said, whenever you have any tension, any pain, anything, you know, when you use the camphor smelling products for, I've used other ones, but at the moment, this is my favorite. It's pure natural. I also like to support always doTERRA because I know they're supporting the farmers in 40 different countries, the people who make these, these oils, uh, you know, they all get their fair share. They get like, paid even when it is a bad harvest or even no harvest the terrible schools for the um, hospitals like 
it's it's a community it's a whole way of looking differently at business as well and that's why I prefer to use the Terra products because I can feel the love of all the other ones that's gone in it. Now, when it comes to the emotions behind it, the soothing blend is the oil of surrendering pain. Um, it can also assist individuals who are resisting or avoiding the emotions that underlie their physical pain. So I went in and looked. Because it is on my hand, I looked up and then I journaled about it and I got the affirmation of the, out of the blue book from Louisa Hay. Um, I choose to handle all my experiences with love and joy and with ease. So I must have been forcing things. Um, it offers strength to face emotional wounds, allowing the wounds to surface for transformation and healing. When we keep our wounds deep into our energetic systems, you know what we, I refer to them and lots of people call them samskaras. It's where the energy is so blocked and turning around itself that you keep reinforcing that same limiting belief that gives you the same pain. On, <laughs> I, just, I forgot it was painful, so I <laughs> shouldn't do that. Um, then it becomes worse. We keep repeating what you resist persists. So get it over with. Feel the pain and do it anyway. And in the heart chakra, we can transform all pains. That's what a heart chakra is for. So we are the consciousness you know we are pure consciousness and from that consciousness uh, there are the thoughts that we are conscious of we are not our thoughts but the thoughts they start to form beliefs and then when they are loaded with an emotion that starts to create form um in the material world you know it's it's you know our thoughts loaded with emotions taking shape so take that responsibility um, so this can teach individuals how to be the observer of their painful experiences rather than over identifying with them you are not your thoughts you're not your beliefs you're not your emotions again it comes to you being the observer being the consciousness the I am, I am that I am, not, not I am Nadina, or of course I think I am, uh, but the fact that I can see myself there now on the screen as I make this video or, or my hand means I'm the observer of this pain, of this hand. Um, I cannot be that what I see outside of me. So bring it always back to that consciousness um, this can really support you with that. And I've been, even this week's video I make in my other series was about, you know, getting to the big, bigger picture, being more the pure awareness um, and go into healing. For me, when I call myself the logical healer, is first of all, is that I see whole or... Uh, where people think they are not whole because we are all whole that's where the word namaste comes from god in me sees the god in you that part in me that is part of the wholeness that is still one sees that also in you um, that for me is healing healing is realizing the part of you that is one the part of you that is whole w h O L E. So when I call myself a healer, is that I show people that they are still whole, that they are not separated. This is a bad dream where we experience everything as separated because through our immense power of consciousness in the mind, we project it on the world outside of us. And um, yeah, and then I'm not going to be going on about because this is about oils. This is the other series of videos I've made. So, eyes blue, deep blue, it's called in the States. Then, with this um, cream, this massage cream, 
it is again, um, don't put this when you have open wounds or anything, but see how quickly that dried up. Um, and I can, I, I sit here with my books and I can use this without having my computer and everything you know, being overly, but I still can't grasp very well. Um, although, look, yeah, I can lift my thermos now. Uh, got it. Um, and then I did in the other one, I said, now I'm off to go and feed the um, horses their hay. Because I'm, I'm also the cowboy, the healing cowboy. Maybe I should do my videos with an Akubra head on. <laughs> Today, I really felt to make an entertaining video. I didn't want to be boring. Sometimes, sometimes my videos put me to sleep. <laughs> but um, it is a long process to keep doing them and one day I will get better at them and there's always something I get messages back from people that they say the right thing was said at the right time but I never know when that's going to be so okay bye for now and make sure to be part of my face group um, Facebook group um, boost okay see you soon